So now question six. Question six. With question six, let's let me go back to my questions. A small metal sphere A carrying a charge of this of this is placed on an insulated stand. Okay. 6.1.1. How does the number of electrons compare with the number of protons in sphere A? Choose less than, greater than, equal to. Let's check. 6.1.1. What is the charge on sphere A? It is plus 2 times 10 negative 9 coulombs. What do we know? Positive charges are carried by pro. So it means in this guy, in this charge, uh, the number of electrons compared to the number of protons, it is what? It is less than. Because this thing, it is positively charged. It has more protons than electrons. So the answer here, it is less than because it is positively charged. <coughs> Next question. Now they say, 10 to the power 13 electrons are now added to, to sphere A. Okay, we added this number of electrons to sphere A. 6.1.2, 6.1.2. Calculate a new charge on sphere A. What would be the new charge? New charge on sphere A, it is equals to number of electrons times number of electrons in one charge. Q equals to number of electrons times a charge in an electron we have how many number of electrons we have how many number of electrons guys now we have 10 to the power 13 electrons time is how many charges are in one electron it is minus 1,16 times 10 to the power in negative let me go and check from my i'm sure i'm, I'm given here from my things key this is the formula we are using uh, i'm looking for qe this one this very negative one comma six not one six sorry six minus 19 coulombs yes that's what we're looking for so here we are so we're still here so we're calculating a new charge we say new charge it is given by q equals to n times qe or this function is n equals to q over Q over QE. Me? So we say that we added 10 to the power 13 electrons and in, in one electron there is 1,6 10 negative 19 electrons. So it means the answer now is going to be 10 to the power 13 time, time is, time is 1,6 times 10 to the power negative 19 which the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In my calculator, let me teach you something by the way while I'm here. In my calculator or the calculator you can see it is given us as it's given us the value as uh 0, 0,000016. To convert it into this form is gonna be don't forget to write it's in coulomb, is one, two, three, four, five, six, one comma six time is 10 to the power how many times did we move one two three four one two three four five six it means we move how many times minus six times minus coulombs this is the answer and don't forget this is negatively charged now so that's the answer so we move to 6.2 i'm sure you can still see move this a bit up here so we can write 6.2 here so 6.2 two identical metal spheres b and c are placed in an insulated state carry charges for c look don't forget post positive four times central power and six negative six da, 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 respectively as shown in the diagram b and c the two spheres are allowed to touch. They touch each other. After touching, the spheres are separated and brought back to the original position. This one. 6.2.1. State the principle of conservation of charge. When we talk about conservation of charge, we say that charge cannot be created or destroyed. The charge cannot be created or destroyed. So here you can say that uh, 
it's, it's talking about the initial number of charge we had in the beginning if here if here we have 10 charges we have 10 charges then they touch and they separate the total number of charges is still gonna be 10 we're not gonna create or destroy new charges charges cannot be destroyed or created they can only be transferred so state the principle you're gonna state that you have it in your notes 6.2.2 calculate the number of electrons transferred between the two spheres during contact we know that insulators when they are brought together when they are brought together and they're separated the number of charges the, the number of charges in each is gonna be equal so it means that q net it is equal to what charge of one q1 which is qb i mean charge of b plus charge of a of c is divided by two this is the formula which we also have in our formula sheet here this formula here this is the formula we have so from that formula we substitute the values which values do we have here we have what we have charge one which is four times 10 minus 6 plus then the sign don't include the sign when you are calculating here because we know this is electrons and this is proton so then include the sign just say 6 times 10 to the power minus 6 right because they're gonna share they're gonna have equal number of charges at the end divide by 2 so when we calculate that we have 4 times 10 to the power minus 6 plus 6 times 10 to the power minus 6 this gives me that value and i divide it by 2 and it end up giving me 0, 0, 0,000005 so this is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 then this is 5 times 10 to the power minus 6 watt coulombs so this is the answer this is the this is the charge now on each on each sphere on each sphere on b on b on q b we have this and on q c we have this because they were in contact and we separated them